What's up everybody, it's The Kind of Collector here. Hope you're having an awesome weekend. Thanks for tuning into my channel. In this week's episode, we're gonna break down this amazing new Jabba's throne room that I got from my buddy Jay. He gifted this set over to me, can't thank him enough. Thank you, brother. So let's go check out this throne room set that we never got back from Kenner back in the day. So let's go check it out right now. Master Luke's come to rescue me. Master Luke. There are no base Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight. The Master Wong Rikatuke. I must be allowed to speak. All right, so here's Jabba's throne room. This is a custom 3D printed set. The file's from Uze Customs. Like I said, my buddy Jay donated this. You know, thanks for supporting the channel, man. I really appreciate it. And just look how amazing this set is. It's more retro looking um, than the Hasbro version that we got a few years ago or whatever. Um, you know, this definitely screams, you know, more Kenner type style. And, you know, just a little bit more basic, um, you know, like what we would have gotten, you know, back in the day. We did get his throne that he's sitting on, but unfortunately that was the only thing we got from Kenner back in the day so let's check out some parts and pieces uh add some figures to this amazing throne room um the first thing i want to show is these really cool little grates that go on top and then stay tuned because i'm going to show uh kind of when the lights go out something cool you can do with this set so these actually just set right here on top first one in place we got the second one here there we go. So you got the grates there that go on top. You can see it's casting a little shadow now. And then next we have the barbecue pit. You know, everybody's got to eat, especially when Jabba's throwing one of his sick parties. Probably not as cool as one of the P. D. P. Diddy parties. <laughs> but uh, this goes right there in the back, which is pretty cool. And then this awesome grate that Jay printed up for me as well. And some of these accessories and you know the the barbecue pit and the decorations and stuff, these can be these files can be found on cults th 3D and printed as well. So we'll fit that right underneath there. You can see already this is really you know coming together quite nicely. And then let's add some more stuff around here there in the back. These little podium things. There we go. Then these cool little tables. Put a couple back here. There we go. This cool little bowl. Put this right here. This little one as well. And then, all right, let's. Oh, you got got to have a plate to eat. Let's check this out. Put it on the barbecue pit for now, <laughs> and then a uh, little candelabra here. We'll put that down there. Little jug. Got some Jabba juice in this bad boy. Put that over here, and then you got to add some figures to this thing. Um, you know the the first figure that you have to add is this custom Slave Leia. Check this out, how cool this is. Put the little ring around her neck. Put her right next to Jabba here. Bam. And Mr. Salacious B, the crumb man. Let's see if I can get him on the tail there without falling off. There we go. Couple Gamorrean guards they have to protect Jabba and then they report to my man Bib Fortuna right here we'll kind of put him here in the back watching over making sure everything's legit and I love this little 
trash compactor customs palm leaf that fits in the hand of this little Jawa from the scene from the Return of the Jedi. Put him there in the back. He likes to fan Jabba the Hutt, keep him nice and cool. There goes Crumb. <laughs> All right, and then uh, just a couple more figures here. We have another custom Ula. A great figure, put her right there. Let's see if I can get her to stand up on the grate. And then everybody's couple of favorite droids. My, my boy, C-3PO. And his best pal, R2-D2. Those guys are always together. And then you can't save Princess Leia without vintage Kenner, Jedi Luke. Check him out. The green blaster, the snap cloak, molded head. So, Jabba, you're a dead man. <laughs> so that's how you can add a lot of these really cool 3D printed accessories. Like I said, those are on Cults 3D. Um, you know, this came together really great. Actually, you know, after adding these figures, you know, the grates on top, the floor grate there, and I, I just love this. I'm gonna put this uh, together for display in my Star Wars room, and let's go ahead and check out this other secret function here. And also, I have a surprise. Jay gifted me another really cool little set um, on top of this, so let's go check out those next. All right, so here we are at night. Jabba's rock and rolling. He's throwing an awesome party. Let's go ahead and add some really cool lights on top of these grates so you can see how the grates work with just a little bit of light shining through. You can add these little, these are just like spotlights, but you can add little LED lights if you want. If you're putting this in a you know, cabinet or on a shelf, look how cool that looks with the lights shining through the top there. The grates just really set this piece off. Love the, the detail of, of that stuff. And let's go ahead and check out another surprise gift that I got from Jay here next. And no Jabba's palace set is complete without Jabba's trophy wall. Right here you have the Han Solo in carbonite. And then we all remember Princess Leia coming to get him down off the wall and get Han Solo the hell out of there. So just another amazing 3D printed set um, by Uze Customs that my buddy Jay donated to the channel. I really appreciate it, man. So love these new sets, you know, awesome pieces to, to add to my collection. Again, can't thank Jay enough. Stay tuned for next week's episode. I'm going to break down my custom 3D printed Rancor pit play set. That's another awesome custom that I've acquired over the last few months. So stay tuned next week. I'll break that one down as well. And that's a wrap on this week's episode. Thanks again for tuning in. Throw a like on this video. It really helps support the channel. Hope you all enjoyed my review of this amazing 3D printed Java's throne room set. And until next time, collect the cutter.